cousin, I have bought it the present. You bought it the right day. Nico, I'm offended. I've got it in the apartment in Algonquin. What did I say when you got here? Penthouse. Mother on each arm. And you have paid for this place? It wasn't so long ago that your debts got you kidnapped by the Russian mob. That was a cold streak. Now I'm hot, cousin. Hotter than the mother will be bedding. I can't move! Roman, we have spoken about your gambling. Wait until you see the new place in me. You'll change your song. So what I took on a little dance? Caught up in an argument between the drug dealer and his drug dealing mentor. I had to choose who'd win the argument, and I chose the young guy. Playboy X is his name. Now he's paid me off and is treating me like an asshole. So? He's treating you like a rich asshole. Who cares? Enjoy yourself. Spend the money in the clean hotel room. The dirty college girl. Call me if you want to hang out afterwards, cuz. This is the X. Giving everyone out there some advice. You don't know what I'm going to find you, Luca. Fuck! I ain't gonna give you shit for helping him out, Nicky. You gotta make a play for yourself. Fucking life! Fantastic! Hey. 
I'm doing great, man. Life has been good. I'm living here now, doing very well, engaged, happy. Business is good. I love this fucking country, man! <laughs> what about you? I'm not engaged, and a lot of people want me dead. Apart from that, same as you. What business? I lend people money. But all very friendly. Listen, do you want to come along? I've got to see someone just around the corner. Come with me. Come on. Get us a vehicle. They're just over on Burner's Road. I heard that Vlad went missing soon after I left Home Beach. Yeah, he wasn't around for much longer. A few people moved away. I bet he went back to Russia. Typical of everyone in Home Beach. Come to Liberty City, but only speak to Russians. Of everywhere here, Alderney is the most like the real America. I love it, man. I hear the real America is all strip malls and clinical obesity. That's a ridiculous generalization. They're good people. Good people. Hey, homeboys, hit me up with that paper you borrowed. See, you want that back? I thought it was a gift, B. You and us being so tight, Law. If you and your boy don't get out of here, we gonna start taking his person. My friend lent you some money, and he wants it back. So these boys, they ain't welcome up in here, son. It. No, man. This means something. I'm the big shot moneylender who screws his hot apple pie American fiancé three times a week, and you still ain't made it yet, but you're the one saving my life. Hang in there, man. This should help. And it is a gift. Believe it, baby. Thanks. I'll try to hang in there, I guess. Enjoy the dream. when you try to play with the big boys. This is Alisa Peta. Sorry, I'm away from the phone at the moment. Try me again in 25 years or so. Don't think you've seen the last of me, asshole.
Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't... Calculating route. In 200 yeah, yards. Turn right. Please make a U-turn where safe. I'm not so sure about it. What's gonna make you sure? You want me to give you a raise? That might help. All right then, call it a bonus. Make this happen. Police officer, come on, clear the area, clear the area! Derek, shit! He's Jesus my brother! Shit, he's going down the hill! I did what you wanted me to do. I killed your brother. You don't think I know that? Christ, it happened right in 
front of me. I can feel you looking at me through that scope. Well, it's done. You and me are over. At least Jerry and Packy are honest about what they do. You're a crook, hiding behind his badge and the reputation. You know what, Frankie boy? I'm going to use that. I ever feel the heat on me? I'll call you, and you're going to make shit go away. That cool? Sounds like I don't have a choice. Patrick McCreary. What's up, man? My ma says that I gotta take you to a show since you ain't from Liberty City. What do you think? Okay, man. I go catch a show. I'll pick you up in the next hour. You're a saint, Nico. I'll wait for you. All right, Nico. We're good to go. Nico, boy. How's it going? What's happening with you? This and that, you know. Tried to make ends meet. Aren't we all, Nico? Aren't we all? Well, sometimes we're trying to keep our heads above the water, other times we're trying to drown ourselves in it. You feel that way? You ever feel that need to obliterate yourself? Maybe sometimes. I mainly try to focus my need to destroy things onto other people. <laughs> but that's because you ain't Irish. If an Irishman ain't beating himself up, he's beating up his family. With me, it's myself. My pa was different. It's this fucking chop that's screwing me at the moment. I can't go out and look for chicks without it, but once I'm out, I'm in the can most of the night doing rails. After that, there ain't a chance in hell of me being able to get hard. It's a fucking catch-22. I gotta cut down on this shit. That might be a good idea, man. <laughs> I don't eat monkeys. You either eat them or fucking them. <laughs> I was eating them. Tastes like chicken. That's how it happened. Thanks very much. Good night. Let's fucking get there! to get what I want. <laughs> Just a wound. You want me to finish you off? Nico, I don't know if you've heard it, but my brother Derek's dead. No shit. Yeah, I just hope he was smacked out of his brain when it happened because it wouldn't have suited him to be jonesing when he died. There isn't any good way to go, though, is there? I guess not. Gerald got arrested, too. They got him in the Albany State Correctional Facility. They took Jerry down? Don't worry, he's always being hauled in, but the charges don't stick. Come to Derek's funeral. It means a lot to the family. It's today at the church in Suffolk. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. Can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Hi, Nico. Hey, Kate. I'm sorry to hear about your brother. Yeah. I didn't really know Derek that well. I remember looking up to him as a kid. He had a dream back then. He was inspired. The Derek that came back to Liberty City was broken. He probably wanted to die. Yeah. It still has to be hard for you. It's hard for my mom. I'm trying to be there for her. Are you going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, <laughs> none of us are. That is why God put us on Earth and not in Heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear. 
but he was a committed family man. <laughs> and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith. And that is what he gave us in his way. Derek gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. The most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. You've got a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. for now. I think we got him. Make a run for the cars. All right, Nico, it's time to go, but we're taking my brother with us. Can you drive the Romero? All right, man. We're burying Derek in the graveyard in Steinway. Let's get there. There's a whole lot of air where the back door should be, Nico. Go easy on her and my brother will fall out. I think we finally lost him. If Derek was alive, he'd need a shitload of horse to deal with the stress of this situation. If Derek was alive, he wouldn't be in this situation. That's a valid point, Nico. Who knows what sort of situation we'd be in. Derek needed a good dose of smack to cope with most of the situations that life threw at him, though. You gotta admit that. We all have our ways of coping, Pecky. That was Derek's. He had a hard life. He's having a hard death, too, if this is anything to go by. I never knew it was so difficult to put a body in the ground. That's why I normally tie breeze blocks to him and throw him in the humble. Is that what you suggest we do with your brother? You're a sick man, Nico. I'd fucking slap you if I didn't love you so much. It's only consecrated ground for a brother of mine. Make a U-turn, we're safe. Hey, whatever y'all ready up there. In 100 yards, turn right. We should go for the moment. You have arrived. Okay, this is it. We can put him in the ground now. Get a load of those melons. Thanks, Nico. What for? Derek never had many friends. He sort of lived in his own head. It means a lot, you coming here and helping this messed up family of mine. I did not come for Derek. I came for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. Oh! 
Go! Gerald McCreary here, calling from the Albany State Correctional Facility. Hey, Jerry. I heard you've been locked up. I'm sorry to hear that. We gotta discuss something. I put you on the visitors list here. Come down. I don't want to hurt you, so remain fucking calm. Fuck you! That's it! Fuck with! I am calling Daddy, and he ain't gonna treat you as polite as I do, that's for sure. You're not calling shit, bitch! You're coming with me! You motherfucker! You sick bastard! You creep! Stop this thing, you slime bag! Stop being such a fucking bitch! Chill out before I pull this trigger and make you real fucking chill. You are in so much trouble, Limpsick. My daddy loves his little girl. I'm gonna make you crash this thing. I don't think so. I am not just letting you take me. Yes, you are. annoying goodbye enjoy your shit life this ain't goodbye bitch you're fucking with the wrong girl asshole I am Gracie Ancelotti and I shut up peace at last Forgive me, I'm sorry. 
I got rid of those bikers for you. Johnny wasn't there, though. The other guy's meant to be taking care of him. Don't worry about it, Nicky. You know, if this fucks up, the bad shit's coming down on my head. Get me to this place, my friend. Okay, um, if I'm right, Bernie's place is somewhere uptown. This is impossible when you're going this fast. I can't see any of the turnoffs. Hey, slow down. I can't see the turns. Okay, think, Topper, think! Okay, I cannot work at this speed. No siree. Easy there, man. You need to go slow if I'm going to be able to get you there. That's it. Straight on. Ease up a little, big fella. I can't see when you're going that fast. You got to turn left here. Go right. This is private. Sorry, mister. Mister, close me. We are Get hit, you fucking strudes. I've had enough Don't try to make this exciting. How do you murdering scum sleep at night? the complaint about your driving gas hole. Stop looking over their shoulders. Too bad about Marco and Pete. Marco and Pete? Oh yeah. Those guys didn't make it, did they? Well, too fucking bad. They knew what they were signed on for. Weren't complaining on the way out, oh, were they? No, they weren't. Happy to be on board with the skipper. Yeah, well, they seemed like good kids. Ah, these kids come and go. It ain't worth paying attention to them until they prove they can survive. I just move on and hire some wannabe wise guys off the street. It's that simple? Has to be. I
drunk then, are they? That's the plan. Whether it works or not remains to be seen. You know something? I would have liked Ray to be on this job instead of me. But there's some things that he ain't trusted with. I don't think I'd trust him to send me on another job after the shit he had me doing. After all of that, you guys didn't even get the diamonds. That wasn't a successful operation by any way you look at it. I'm hoping that this endeavor is going to be more fruitful. For the record, I did everything I was meant to do. The problem was Ray's planning and the amount of people involved. Too many people wanted that dice. No one was ever going to end up with it. Well, a lot of people want to get a hold of this merchandise as well. By your logic, that means it's going to end up dissolving into the Humboldt River. I don't want that to happen. Me neither. Maybe if we want it more than anyone else, we'll be able to hang on to it. It's going to take more than wanting it real bad. It's going to take a clear head. Ray's a greedy rat. He wants this stuff more than anyone else. But that don't mean he's going to get it. He's got his eyes on my position. The skip is too, I'm sure. Wanting it and getting it are two different things, though. Every move he makes is so obvious, it's disgusting to see him trying to sleaze his way up the ladder. His moves might be easy for you to see, but maybe they're working. Maybe he's getting somewhere. He definitely knows a lot of people. Shit, if anyone does start listening to Ray's shit, then I could be in some trouble. I'm hoping that day don't come. My boss and go... I need a little doctor-patient confidentiality. You can have one minute. This is Francis McCreary. So, Nicky, you and the peg is getting close, I see. He's got work. He pays. That's about it. Now we're sure to have the feds on us.
driver, why is this road closed? Is there a problem? Remember me? No, not really. You made me beg, player. Please don't kill me, boss. <laughs> remember that? Yes, I remember that. So, did you reform like you promised? Well, let's just say I made some changes, player. <laughs> I made some changes. Good for you. Yeah, I decided I wasn't gonna let nobody make me beg anymore. Come on, man. Don't be a dick. I might be a dick, but you's a bitch! <laughs> Shit, Mr. Boss, man. Didn't expect this, did you? Now you beg. It's your turn to beg. I would never have let me live. You a fool! Who the big man now, boss? I don't let nobody this way. You want to make this get really nasty? Nicky! Brucey, baby! How about you and me get some serious car block, bro? Shit, man, I can't. I'm already on my way to a Korean place. Some other time, okay? Sorry guys, we're keeping this bitch. Nico, finally official. It's car your time, Nico. Who's blackmailing you? We don't know. They won't even meet us themselves. This is just some flunky they're sending. We have to tell them to tell the boss we won't be pushed around. No way. You've reached Kate McCreary. I'm sorry I can't take your call just now. Please try back another time. Ten thousand. I thought you were different, Nico. I said no killing. All of you are the same. Another man in my daughter's life has met a violent death now. Thank you for that. Nico, I've been thinking about...
Everything that was good and innocent of me died along with them. If I could live those hours again, I think I would have preferred to be buried in the pit along with everyone else. This is all that is left of me. What am I good at? What is my trade? Will you take me over to Bruce's house? I'm turning this shit off. I can't take listening to those annoying ads and DJs right now. You did the right thing. It's not often that you make sure of it. You definitely did the right thing. Probably yourself. Let's have a fucking party. Break out the champagne. I let the diseased, traitorous junkie live after hunting him for over a decade. Shit! Someone hand me the keys to the fucking city. There's no need to take that talk, cousin. I'm sorry if my tone offends you, Lord. But this has been a very difficult moment for me. It took every fiber of my being, pulling in the same direction, not to kill Dargo, to not get revenge for all those lives he took away. What made you spare him? I don't know. I wanted it for so long. He would just be dead. Like everyone else from our village, I was the one that survived the first attack. Living is not easy. No. I would live to kill in Dargo as well. But then when I looked at him, I realized that nothing would change if I killed him. The revenge would not somehow shut the book on what I have seen. Only those who die get closure. Living or not. So you keep living. And you try to have a happy life. You you tried to move on. I tried to. Here we are. Do you want to come in and hang with Brucey? No. I need to be alone. Florian, I thought I should let you know. I found Darko. The guilt has destroyed him. I don't know. Somehow, it was better to walk away. You know what? I'm really proud of you, Nico Bellic. After what we've had to live with these last 12 or 13 years, I know how much it hurt you. And you walked away. I know this must be hard for you, but you won, Nico. You really did. We've got to celebrate. You're free now. Maybe a spa day? Sure, whatever. I'll speak to you soon, Bernie. Bye.